Let's take a quick spin around dynamic related lists. This adds a brand new component when you're creating your lightning pages. We're on the account lightning record page here and you can see that I've currently got the standard related list component selected. But what I've also got is this brand new component called dynamic related list single, which I'm going to drag onto the page right now. I'm going to work through a very quick use case. So dynamic related lists bring a lot of additional functionality and something that's new is that you'll no longer need to add the related list to the standard page layout in order to access it in the lightning record page builder. You don't need to do that step anymore. You can just come straight in here and add your dynamic related list. So let's take a look at the various things that we can do here. So we can select our related lists and I'm going to use opportunities for this example. We can also change our related list label. So let's change this to say open opportunities. We can choose our related list type between list and tile. And we can also choose the number of records to display. So this is currently set to 10. And something that's worth noting is that these dynamic related lists will display up to 30 records. So a maximum of 30 records. And something else that's very key to note here is that dynamic related lists currently don't support the option to click view all. If you look down here in our standard related lists component, you'll see the view all option. So if there's more than a set to display, our users can click view all and go and take a look at the full list. You won't have that option currently on dynamic related lists. It will be coming in the future, safe harbor. We don't have a date for that functionality yet. So for now, it's very important to think about using the right filters to make sure that you only display a maximum of 30 records. And if there's more to display and your users need to view all, then you'll need to use the standard um, related list single or related list component for that. So we can choose which of our fields are visible. So you can see we're currently displaying the name, stage, amount, and close date. And we can very simply add more fields by clicking on add fields and then choosing whichever fields we want to display. So perhaps here we will add the owner full name and let's click done. So very easy. And again, you can drag and drop, move those fields around, make sure you're happy with the order. We can choose our sort field. So let's sort on our stage and we can choose our sort order. So that can be ascending and descending. And then as with all dynamic pages, we can then use filters, which is where this becomes really, really powerful. So a typical use case for this is going to be if you want to display the same object records, uh, but with different filters applied. So a great use case here is going to be you want to display a related list of open opportunities and you want to display a related list of closed opportunities. We can add a filter to do this. So let's do that. Let's click add filter and then let's go and find closed and we'll say not equal to true. So it's not closed and then let's click done. And now that's just going to show me open opportunities. So nothing closed one and nothing closed lost. Other things you can do here, you can customize what actions are displayed if you want to. And we can also change the component visibility. So just as you can with other components, perhaps you want to set the component to only be visible to certain users or based on certain record types you have all of that functionality as well. Now, something you might notice here is when we're looking at our new component, we're just looking at sample, sample text, sample text, no actual data. Now that is correct. It's not going to display any real data here. In order to test your new dynamic related list component, you will need to save the page and go and view it to make sure that that data definitely makes sense. So we just added a new dynamic related list for open opportunities. And what we can do now is we can add another one. So let's drag another dynamic related list onto the page. Let's change it again to opportunities. 
This time we'll change the label to closed. One, we're gonna keep 10 records to display. We'll keep the same sort of fields here. Um, we will leave the default sorting on as well, but let's go and add a filter. And let's go and find one equals true. And now we've created another dynamic related list, which is just going to display our one opportunities. Let's quickly save our page here and we'll activate it. This is going to be our org default and let's click next and save. And then let's go back and take a look at this on one of our account records. Okay, so what we can see now is we're on one of our account records and we have our two dynamic related lists. First, we have open opportunities and you can see this is in stage qualification. So our filter has worked. And then again, another dynamic related list to show closed one opportunities. And again, let's, let's sense check this. This stage is closed one. So we know that our filters have worked here. So there is a great use case for dynamic related lists. I hope you are as excited about these as I am.